Try to visualize a world where a year lasts only a few days. A planet so close to its star that its atmosphere is constantly being stripped away by relentless heat. These are hot Jupiters, gas giants, that defy conventional ideas about planet formation. Once thought impossible, their discovery rewrote the rules of astronomy, challenging our understanding of where and how planets can form. How do these planets survive such extreme conditions? Why do they appear in systems unlike anything we've known? Their discovery wasn't just groundbreaking, it opened the door to an even deeper mystery that continues to reshape our understanding of planetary systems. So let's begin with the event of discovering hot Jupiters in the 1990s, which revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems. Before their discovery, the dominant model of planet formation was based on our solar system. It was believed that gas giants like Jupiter could only form in the colder outer regions of a protoplanetary disk. The existence of massive scorching planets orbiting close to their stars was not only unexpected, but posed a serious challenge to existing theories. However, a turning point came in 1995 with the discovery of 51 Pegasi b, orbiting a sun-like star. This planet completes its orbit in just over four days. Such a short time period meant it was extremely close to its host star, with estimated temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. This discovery stunned the astronomical community. Previously, no one believed that such a large planet could form or survive so close to a star. The discovery was made using the radial velocity method, which measures the wobble of a star caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. This wobble causes tiny shifts in the star's light spectrum, a phenomenon known as the Doppler effect. Observations of 51 Pegasi showed periodic shifts in the star's spectral lines, perfectly matching the movement expected from a large, closely orbiting planet. In the following years, the radial velocity method became the cornerstone of exoplanet discovery, leading to a sharp increase in the number of detected planets. By the early 2000s, hundreds of hot Jupiters had been catalogued, each adding to the mystery of how these planets form and migrate. While radial velocity paved the way, the transit method quickly became another powerful tool. This method detects periodic dips in a star's brightness when a planet passes in front of it, partially blocking the light. The first successful detection of a transiting hot Jupiter, HD 209458b, took place in 1999. This event was revolutionary as it allowed astronomers to directly measure the planet's size and confirm its existence using independent methods. Transit observations also allowed astronomers to study the atmospheres of hot Jupiters. This became possible because certain wavelengths are absorbed as starlight passes through a planet's atmosphere during a transit, revealing the chemical composition. This method, known as transit spectroscopy, has allowed the detection of elements such as sodium, water vapor, and even exotic molecules like titanium oxide in the atmosphere of these planets. Despite the dominance of these two methods, there are other techniques that have also played a significant role in uncovering the secrets of hot Jupiters. For example, direct imaging. Despite its difficulty, this method allows astronomers to obtain real images of planets by blocking the light of the host star. Although direct imaging is mostly effective for planets located farther from their stars, it has provided remarkable insights into exoplanet atmospheres and dynamics. Another method is gravitational microlensing, which uses the gravitational field of a foreground star as a natural lens to magnify the light from a background star. When a planet orbits the foreground star, it creates a unique signal. That facilitates its detection. Although microlensing is rarely used for planet detection, it has led to several discoveries in unexpected locations. And then there is astrometry, 
By precisely measuring the position of stars, this method detects small movements caused by orbiting planets. Compared to other methods, astrometry is still in its infancy, but it holds great potential for studying multi-planet systems. However, the discovery of hot Jupiters also raised a number of puzzling questions. If they form far from their stars, how do they migrate inward? And why were they the first exoplanets to be discovered? We'll circle back to that. Now let's talk about another equally interesting question. For many years, hot Jupiters were considered lonely wanderers, isolated giants, whose extreme migration disrupted the very systems they inhabited. This idea stemmed from the widely accepted hypothesis that inward migration of these massive planets triggered by gravitational interactions or disk dynamics would destroy or eject nearby planets. This view appeared to be supported by observations. Early discoveries of hot Jupiters revealed systems without any detected nearby planets. The idea of hot Jupiter's isolation is rooted in the physics of planetary migration. According to models, gas giants form far from their stars, beyond the snow line, where icy materials can accumulate to create large planetary cores. However, interactions with a photoplanetary disk or other planets can force these giants to migrate inward. It was believed that this migration process, especially in its more chaotic forms, would destabilize the orbits of smaller bodies. Two main mechanisms were proposed to explain such migrations. The first is disk-driven migration. In this scenario, interactions between a planet and the gaseous photoplanetary disk lead to a gradual inward spiral. The planet's immense gravity disturbs the disk, creating density waves that transfer angular momentum, pulling the planet closer to the star. This interaction can clear material in the planet's path, potentially disrupting or halting the formation of nearby planets. The second mechanism is known as planet-to-planet -planet scattering. In more chaotic systems, gravitational interactions between multiple gas giants can eject one planet outward while pushing another inward. The surviving inward-moving planet, now a hot Jupiter, may disrupt the orbits of smaller bodies either accreting them or ejecting them entirely. The inward-moving planet often ends up on a highly elliptical orbit, which gradually circularizes due to tidal forces over time. It would seem that these turbulent processes explain why early observations did not detect nearby companions to hot Jupiters, reinforcing the idea of their so-called loneliness. However, despite the theoretical foundation, the myth of these giants' isolation began to crack as detection methods improved. Observations from spacecraft like Kepler and TESS revealed systems where hot Jupiters coexist with other planets, contradicting the notion that their migration universally destabilizes their surroundings. One key example is the WASP-132 system, where a hot Jupiter orbits alongside a super-Earth and an ice giant. The existence of such systems suggests that not all migrations of massive planets are destructive. In some cases, the migration path can be, quote, dynamically cool, allowing other planets to survive or even form after the gas giant's inward journey. The discovery of non-isolated hot Jupiters has led astronomers to reconsider planetary migration theories. It led to a more nuanced understanding showing that the degree of disruption depends on several factors. One such factor is the timing of migration. If a hot Jupiter migrates early, during the gas-rich phase of the protoplanetary disk, smaller bodies may still form after its passage. However, late-stage migrations are more likely to destabilize the system. Another factor is the mass and eccentricity of the migrating planet. Heavier or highly eccentric hot Jupiters are more likely to disrupt their surroundings. Systems with lower mass giants on more circular orbits can remain relatively undisturbed. Last but not least is the matter of star-planet interactions. Gravitational interactions between the host star and its gas giant can influence the stability of nearby planetary orbits. 
For example, tidal forces can dampen the planet's eccentricity, reducing its potential to destabilize the system. Advances in telescopes and longer observation periods have played a crucial role in debunking the myth of isolation. For example, high-precision radio velocity data have revealed subtle gravitational effects from additional planets in these systems. Meanwhile, transit timing variations, which measure deviations in a planet's transit schedule, have helped confirm the presence of neighboring planets, even if they're too small or too distant to be directly detected. It was traditionally believed that high eccentricity migration dominated the formation of hot gas giants, as this explained the observed lack of close companions in early systems. However, new data, including the discovery of multi-planet systems like WASP-47 and WASP-132, challenge this assumption. Observations indicate that about 12% of hot Jupiters have close neighbors, suggesting that not all high eccentricity migrations are destructive. Understanding this allows us to conclude that migration is not a universally destructive process, but can occur under conditions that preserve or even foster the formation of additional planets. In general, hot Jupiters are not a monolithic class of exoplanets. Their discovery has revealed a surprising diversity in size, mass, and environmental conditions with their characteristics often determined by the type of star they orbit. This diversity, ranging from lightweight gas giants orbiting cool red dwarfs to massive planets experiencing intense radiation from red giants, highlights the complexity of planetary formation and evolution. The class of a host star plays a crucial role in the formation, migration, and characteristics of gas giants. While most of them orbit sun-like stars, discoveries around other types of stars have expanded our understanding of these planets. Red dwarfs, which are smaller and cooler than the sun, have lower luminosity and longer lifespans. Despite their lower energy output, there have been instances of hot Jupiters orbiting them, such as NGTS 1b, a gas giant nearly the size of Jupiter, orbiting a red dwarf half the size of the sun. The existence of these planets challenges traditional formation theories, as red dwarfs are less likely to have protoplanetary disks massive enough to form such large exoplanets. When stars evolve into red giants, their outer layers expand, altering the gravitational dynamics of planetary systems. Some hot Jupiters, such as Kepler 56b, orbit these aging stars, experiencing extreme heating and tidal forces. These systems provide insight into the final stages of planetary evolution, where planets may eventually be engulfed by their expanding stars. Hot Jupiters have also been found in multi-star systems, where gravitational interactions between stars can influence planetary orbits. For example, Kepler 47c orbits within a system with two suns, demonstrating adaptability to such a dynamic environment. On top of everything else, the masses and size of these planets vary significantly, reflecting the diversity of their formation histories and physical conditions. Super Jupiters such as HR 8799b are much more massive than our Jupiter, often exceeding its mass by 10 times. Their immense gravity can compress their atmospheres, leading to relatively small radii, despite their high mass. These planets provide valuable insights into the upper limits of exoplanet formation. At the other extreme are puffy, hot Jupiters, such as WASP-12b, which expand to sizes far beyond what's expected for their masses. Intense stellar radiation heats these planets, causing their atmospheres to expand and lowering their density to levels comparable to cork. Some even lose mass due to atmospheric escape, forming gas tails. Additionally, small gas giants like HAT-7b lie on the boundary between Neptune-like planets and true hot Jupiters. These mini-hot Jupiters challenge traditional classifications and suggest a continuum of planetary characteristics rather than distinct categories. 
The diversity of this class of exoplanets also extends to their internal composition and orbital properties. Planets with higher metallicity are thought to form more efficiently in protoplanetary disks, rich in heavy elements, leading to denser cores and more robust atmospheres. Orbital distances also play a role. While most hot Jupiters orbit within 0.1 astronomical units of their stars, variations in semi-major axes can affect their thermal profiles, their atmospheric retention, and even magnetic fields. The discovery of hot gas giants has changed our understanding of planetary systems and has also revolutionized the methods used to study them. The primary detection techniques, the transit method and the radio velocity method, continue to be crucial in modern astronomy. NASA's Kepler mission, launched in 2009, relied on the transit method to detect thousands of planets, revealing the extraordinary diversity of planetary systems. Meanwhile, the radio velocity method, refined by advanced spectrographs like Espresso, continues to detect bodies of various sizes and masses. These tools have laid the foundation for an era of precise exoplanet science. Modern telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope represent a major leap forward in exoplanet research. Equipped with infrared capabilities, JWST can analyze the atmospheres of distant worlds, including gas giants, in unprecedented detail. By studying chemical composition, thermal profiles, and even cloud structures, researchers hope to uncover key insights into the formation and evolution of these worlds. Upcoming missions such as S's Plato and NASA's Roman Space Telescope will further these efforts by focusing on planets in habitable zones and systems around cooler stars. Together, they aim to build a complete picture of planetary diversity, from scorching gas giants to temperate Earth-like worlds. The next frontier lies in detecting the faintest signals, small planets, complex multi-planet systems, and worlds orbiting distant stars. Techniques such as direct imaging and astrometry, combined with longer observation periods, will allow astronomers to study planetary system architecture and trace their evolutionary histories. The ongoing challenge is to refine these methods, push detection boundaries, and uncover worlds that might otherwise remain hidden. The universe is vast and full of planets yet to be explored. Who knows what secrets they may hold?